So I'll give you an example of these, uh, you know, how I'm saying that there is a higher, higher highs here, but lower highs here, it's losing momentum. So let's have a look at this previous peak before, for example. Uh, you can see from the bottom, what's been happening is, um, it's, it's uh, let's say from this point onwards, it's been setting higher highs on the RSI. And it's been setting high highs on the price action as well. It's been going up. And then what you can see is after this final push, this massive move here, it's set a lower high. So it shows the momentum is dissipating. And after this momentum uh, started dissipating, it's, it's consolidated. It consolidated for a long time. It didn't break this high uh, from here until this point here, which is more than a year. So uh, this one can easily consolidate for more than a year as well. It has this big push. You can see here also the last push is very big volume here compared to previous candles. Same here as well. This, uh, this, well, this one here has a bear, bearish volume, which is large coming in. So that's uh, a little bit, a little bit uh, worse, I would, I would argue. But anyway, so if we analyze this uh, previously, you can see it started to tighten up. It started to say at lower highs. So what you could have done is as soon as you got uh, these two points here, uh, you could have drawn the, a line like that. And then also you could have connected your lows. Uh, you could have connected your lows. So this is like sort of a, a, a bull uh, flag pattern. And um, you can see that we came to test it again. We consolidated. Uh, we stayed... We stayed above the 21 EMA and then we broke bull in with with increasing volume. Um, so what happens in these patterns when it's tightening down, tightening up, the the volume usually drops off. And you can see over here how low this volume was on this candle. It was so low, and then uh, we 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 sort of formed a a bull flag here as well, <clears throat> like a little bull flag in there and then once we broke out that's when we went and you can see the volume increase on the bull run and the, the, and this when we were, we were consolidating here we also cooled off the RSI so we had room to go up again so um, so that's that's an example of uh, of, uh, you know, and, and once again over here as well, uh, originally when, when the whole thing went up, you started getting a lower, uh, you're starting to getting a lower momentum, and then we consolidated, we dropped, you know, huge drop, 50, almost 45, so 45% drop, and then once we, uh, we started going back up. <clears throat> so it's not it's not always hundred uh, percent works, but you know it's something that a trader uh, would look as a setup. So uh, for me myself, uh, in order for me to take this trade, if I was gonna go long for a long time, then I would wait. <clears throat> but yeah, I would think something like this would form. You know, <clears throat> October 2020. It doesn't have to be this way, but, you know, that's the likely scenario. Maybe we're going to follow a similar pattern to here, just a bit wider. So, yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking.